Good afternoon, students. Uh, am I audible? Am I audible? Yes. Good afternoon, Sambit. Okay. Thank you. So let's start. Uh, after few days again, we are meeting. Not few days. After some days, last two weeks, I feel because of that present lockdown situation. We, uh, I could not actually take your class. So today, let us complete. Uh, uh, actually, uh, previously, we had started uh, 100 race one, and we are continuing with this 100 race one. So today, let us complete the class 100 race one. The last day, uh, we completed up to page number 60, uh, 67. We are reading up to page number 67, and ultimately, what we saw that uh, two girls, that Peggy and Medi, they used to tease Wanda Petronsky. Though Medlin, means Medi, did not want to tease from her, uh, she did not have the wish to, uh, to tease Wanda Petronsky, but she was afraid that if she did not tease Wanda Petronsky, then the other students, other girls, might go after her and uh, they might tease her. Because of this fear, she started to tease Wanda Petronsky and she used to help Peggy in teasing Wanda. Last day, we completed up to this. I feel the book is available with you. Last day, we completed here that she wished Peggy would stop teasing Wanda Petronsky. Up to this, we completed and I just discussed the question also there. So let us start. Hope we will complete the text today. Let's start. I am starting the reading from page number 63. After the questions that we are having, few questions there, overall comprehension check. After these questions, we just let us start reading. Today, even though they had been late to school, Mehdi was glad she had not had to make fun of wonder. Today, Mehdi and Peggy they came late to school because we know that outside school, uh, on the way to the school, Peggy and Medi, they used to uh, stop for Wanda Petronsky because whenever Wanda would come, they would tease her. So that day, they came late to school, but Medi was happy because that day, there was no requirement to tease Wanda and uh, she was not teasing Wanda that day. She worked her arithmetic problems absent-minded now in the class, she was sitting and doing that, solving the problem. Why absent-mindedly? Because her mind was busy about all these things. Because she did not want to tease Wanda Petronsky. But still, as if she was forced to tease Wanda Petronsky, she was forced to help the, her friend uh, Peggy in teasing Wanda Petronsky. Okay? Otherwise, she was very much afraid that otherwise other girls might tease her. Now that is why she was uh, absent-minded. 8 times 8, let's see, she wished she had the nerve to write Peggy a note because she knew she never would have the courage to speak right out to Peggy to say, hey Peg, let's stop asking wonder how many dresses she has. Now, the arithmetic question was 8 times 8, but the answer, she was not thinking about the answer, but she was thinking that directly she did not have the courage to say Wanda, to say uh, her friend Peggy that uh, we, we must stop teasing Wanda Petronsky. So she decided that she would write a note for Peggy asking her to stop this teasing to Wanda Petronsky. Okay? Now here it is and she wanted to write here that hey Peg, let's stop asking Wanda how many dresses she has. Okay? She wanted that this teasing should be stopped, but she does not have the courage to tell this to Peggy to stop this teasing over Wanda Petronsky. When she finished her arithmetic, she did start a note to Peggy. So after solving the arithmetic, she started to write a note towards Peggy. Those who joined just later on, I thought them, I am telling, we are reading from page number 67. Okay, though maths are done in the board, but this is uh, exclusively English class, I have forgotten to just uh, rub these. This is English class, okay? This is, we are, right, we are reading uh, class 10, 
This is English uh, 100 race 1. Okay. Now, those who join later, I am telling for them, we are reading from page number 67. We are continuing with the story that is 100 races 1. <coughs> now, as I told that uh, uh, Mehdi did not have that courage to say directly to Peggy that you must stop teasing wonder. That is why she actually uh, uh, planned, she planned that she might write a note to Peggy asking her to stop this, uh, you know, uh, teasing towards wonder. When she finished her arithmetic, now she did start, you know, she started uh, a note to Peggy. Suddenly, she paused and shuddered, but after writing a few words, she just shuddered, she trembled and stopped. Why? She pictured herself in the school year, a new target for Peggy and the girls. So that fear came to her again, that she thought that if he, she, would she would actually request by writing to Peggy that stop the teasing Wanda Petronsky, then uh, Mehdi would be the new target for Peggy and the other girls. And Mehdi thought herself that she was standing in that school year just like Wanda Petronsky stands and other girls uh, started to tease. So uh, uh, actually Mehdi was very much afraid. Uh, she thought that uh, even uh, if, if she would request by writing to Peggy that we must stop teasing Wanda Petronsky, then she might be the new target for Peggy and the other girls. Peggy, uh, here also a new target for Peggy and other girls. Peggy might ask her where she got the dress and that she had on and Maddie would have to say it was one of Peggy's old ones that Maddie's mother had tried to disguise with new trimmings so no one in the room 13 would recognize it. Now how the teasing would be there if she become the target? We know earlier it has already been discussed that the dress that Madeline used to wear, actually this dress actually belonged to Peggy. Peggy uh, used to wear this dress. After wearing when it becomes old, then uh, actually Peggy would hand over to Madeline. So what would be the teasing for her? If Maddie become new target for uh, Peggy and other girls, then Peggy would ask her that where from you got the dress that you are right, you are wearing at, at, at present. And she had to answer that these, bears, these dress belong to you. And Peggy's old ones. And Maddie's mother actually adds a new uh, trimmings, okay, trimmings so that one uh, uh, with the dress. So whenever Peggy actually uh, used to give the old dress to uh, Madeline, Madeline's mother used to join a trimmings, okay, trimmings uh, to uh, to that dress so that nobody could understand this. This trimmings is known as Bengali rendering is, uh, uh, the Bengali rendering of trimmings is the jhalor, jhalor, okay, uh, that uh, at, the, at, at the end of that dress, this type of trimmings are there. Don't take, sir, what they are for? You don't take the SS names? So what do, if you disturb then, uh, so scroll down, what is going on there, I just want to see what is going on. So what do, what you are doing there? So what do, can you listen me? Stop doing this, be serious, otherwise go from that group. Why you are disturbing the other students who are listening? Now here, Mehdi was thinking that uh, if she would request Peggy for not teasing Wanda Petrovsky, then uh, then it would be she would be the new target. And then, uh, as I told, that Peggy would ask uh, where from you bought this dress, and Mehdi had to answer. If only Peggy would decide of her own effort to stop having fun with wonder. So only one option there, that Peggy had to realize that she should stop teasing Wanda Petrovsky. Otherwise, Mehdi is not going to request her that you must stop teasing Wanda Petrovsky. Oh, well, Mehdi ran her hand through the short blonde hair as though to push the uncomfortable, uncomfortable thoughts away, like this. Blonde means 
golden yellow she is having golden yellow why not she is an american girl so pedi just uh, you know ran her hand through the short blonde hair so that the thinking went away from her head what difference did it make slowly made it tore into bits the notes she had started so to pay actually medi medli she tore the notes because she had already started writing and uh, requesting asking uh, peggy not to not to tease wonder but now she has changed her mind she was peggy's best friend and peggy was the best like girl in the whole room now wonder did not have the courage to go against peggy because she was herself peggy's best friend not only that peggy was the best like girl in the room number 13 Peggy was the most beautiful girl. Peggy was uh, the most educated, most educated means most brilliant in that school. So Peggy could not possibly do anything that was really wrong. She thought, and actually she consoled herself. Uh, Medi, Madeline consoled herself that I must not suggest Peggy what she should do because as she is the most brilliant girl, so she could not do any wrong thing. What she is telling, what she is doing. probably this is the right thing that is she is doing and that is why probably this is right that is why she is doing as for wonder <coughs> she was just some girl who lived up on bogies heights and stood alone in the school yard and on the part of wonder she is the girl she lives in bogies heights and she stood uh, you know alone in the school yard because we know there is not a single friend there in the school for wonder petrus kid she scarcely even said anything to anybody she could not say anything she actually uh, this is very rare that wonder uh, uh, sorry yes wonder petrus speaks to other she doesn't speak at all the only time she talked to us in the school year about her hundred dresses only time all the answers she gave whenever she is asked how many dresses you are having all the answers she gives that i am having hundred dresses the pale blue you know maybe remembered her telling about one of her dresses pail blue with colored trimmings okay medi remembered her telling about one dresses that medi and uh, once told about the dress that she is having a blue dress and having a red trimmings as she remembered another that was brilliant jungle green with a red sashi and uh, uh, actually as if wonder is having a dress that is with the color is jungle jungle green and she is having a red sashi you would look like a christmas tree in that the girls have said in pretended admiration so when um, uh, two dress uh, particularly that uh, wonder petrus ki described to the other girls the so one dress is uh, the pale blue uh, with color trimmings and other uh, dress with jungle green with a red sashi so when uh, wonder petrus ki told that she is having such a dress the other girls told that wearing the dress you might look like a, a christmas tree thinking about wonder and a hundred dresses all lined up in the closet that is the answer that every time wonder had been asked this question how many dresses you are having she would answer that i am having hundred dresses all lined up in my closet so uh, and, and and don't forget that uh, for a few days in a row wonder was uh, uh, wonder remained absent from school so big uh, piggy was sorry medi was thinking about all and maybe began to wonder who was going to win the drawing and coloring contest and you know uh, we discussed that there is a coloring contest they are winning uh, actually uh, painting and coloring contest for the boys and girls are you people are accustomed to see see a competition so this kind of competitions were already held and now she was thinking that which girl is going to um, who is going to you know win the competition for girls the contest considered of designing dresses and for boys of designing motor boats so i am telling you that uh, uh, as mcq question will come from all the for for exams so be sure that uh, these are these might be the questions from mcq as well that what was the topic for the girls uh, in that competition the topic for the girls uh, the drawing or uh, painting competition was that designing or uh, no designing dresses this is for girls and designing motor boats this is for boys okay these are the topic for boys and girls probably peggy would win the girls medal and uh, medi was thinking if peggy would probably would win the girls medal because uh, peggy is not only the most brilliant girl but she could also draw better than anybody else in that room number 13 so and uh, earlier also in such competitions peggy used to win so this time also peggy might win the competition that medi was thinking okay 
Peggy drew better than anyone else in the room that I told. But Peggy also could draw better than anyone. At least that's what everybody thought. And that is everybody. Whether uh, Peggy could, uh, Peggy could uh, you know, draw better than anyone else, but everybody thought that yes, Peggy should deserve this prize. She could copy a picture in a magazine on some filmster's head so that you could almost tell who it was. Means uh, Peggy's drawing uh, capability was such a thing that Peggy could, uh, you know, repeat or seeing a picture of a uh, of a hero's head of somebody's picture. Peggy could draw such a way so that everybody could understand that whose picture it is. So it tells that Peggy is having that capability to draw a picture, especially the portrait. Now, at least that's what everybody that I told. But uh, oh, Maddie was sure Peggy would win. So Maddie was sure that Peggy would win this competition. Well, tomorrow the teacher was going to announce the winners. That they would know. And tomorrow the teacher was going to the competition and already completed. So tomorrow the teachers would announce that who had owned the competition. Okay, who had owned the competition. Okay. The next day it was drizzling. Yes, it was drizzling just like that as it is going on outside. Drizzling means it's slow raining. Rain very slow. Okay, it was drizzling, and that is very important day for all the girls and all the boys in the school because that day teacher was going to announce uh, the name of the winner. So Maddie and Peggy hurried to school under Peggy's umbrella, and Maddie and Peggy, uh, the best two friends, they actually they came to school with uh, uh, under Peggy's umbrella. Naturally, on a day like this, they didn't wait for Wanda Petrovsky on the corner of Olive Street, the street that far, far away under the railroad tracks and up the hill led to Bogin Heights. Actually, uh, other day. Uh, Peggy and Maddie, when uh, they used to come to school, they used to wait for Wanda Petrovsky in the corner of that road or, or that, that led to Bogin side because we know Wanda Petrovsky lived in Bogin side and she come to school and on that road. So that day, as it was raining, as it was drizzling, they did not wait for Wanda Petrovsky. Anyway, they were not talking, uh, take, uh, taking chances on being late today because today was important. And yes, uh, you know, the day when they used to wait for Wanda Petrovsky, that day, Sometimes they became, uh, you know, they became uh, late for school. But that day they did not want to take chance because that day they did not want to uh, be late for school because this was important. The question may come: Why do you think that the day was important? Because on that day the winner's name was going to be announced by the teacher. That the competition was there, uh, as I told, as you accustomed, like the CCA competition they had also in the school, and the competition is already accomplished, and the competition topic was. For the girls, it was designing dress, and the boys, for the boys, it was designing motorboat. The competition has already complete, accomplished, completed. Now there's a time for the result, and that today the teachers would announce that who is the winner for the girls and who is the winner for the boys. So that is the important day for Peggy and Mary. Not only for Peggy and Mary, but uh, for all the you know students uh, living in that school. And that is why they did not uh, want to be late uh, on that day. I hope you have understood. If you have any queries, you may ask questions. Have you understood so far? Anybody? You may unmute your microphone. You may answer me. Whether you have answer, understood? Yes, Noreen is writing something. You people do not ask any question. Yes, sir, understood. Thank you, Noreen. And uh, Sotopip is writing something, but you people do not. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Sneha is also. So thank you. Uh, I feel you have understood. If you have any question, you must ask me and I will try to answer these. Okay, thank you. So, let's continue. Do you think Miss Masson uh, will answer the winners today? Asked Peggy. Yes, Miss Masson was their class teacher. So, Peggy asked this to wonder. Do you think Miss Masson will announce the winners today? Oh, I hope so. The minute we get in, said Medi. Medi, Medi told yes. The minute we get in means whenever we get in the class, room number 13, then uh, the teacher would answer. Of course, he will win big. And uh, Medlin was encouraging big. But yes, you are going to win. Okay, You are going to win. Who is there that who would beat you and draw it? Hope so, said Peggy Gelly. And Peggy also believed that yes, she is going to win the prize because she really draws well and nobody was there 
I end up in the room number 13 among the girls who could actually draw better than Peggy. So Peggy also knows that uh, she draws better than any other girls in room number 13 and she knew also that she is going to be uh, the winner but still she was very much, you know, uh, very much tensed. The minute they entered the classroom, they stopped, sought and gasped. Whenever they entered the classroom, they, they, they stopped, sought means immediately they, they stopped their entering the classroom and they gap. Gap means they became wandered with their, uh, you know, with, with their mouth open. This is gap, okay? Extremely uh, surprised. There were drawings all over the room on every ledge and window seal. Dazzling colors and brilliant, lavish designs, all, <coughs> all drawn on great sheets of wrapping paper. See, in the right hand side of this book, there is a picture of few dresses. So, their room number 13, this room had been decorated with the drawings of dresses. And that is why Peggy and Medi, they became so much surprised. That there were drawings all over the room. The, you know, the rooms were decorated as just remember that in our Inspire, as you people decorate the room, isn't it? Remember, in our last Inspire also, as you uh, people decorate the room. So here also room number 13 had been decorated by the drawings of these dresses, okay? And dazzling colors here, uh, the drawings of all over the room, every ledge and window seal, window, window seal means here, uh, the cover of the window. And the dazzling colors and brilliant colors, lavies, very grand, grand, colorful, dazzling pictures uh, actually decorated the room. There must have been a hundred of them all lined up. And all these dresses are something like this. A hundred dresses all lined up. Okay? These are the, these are the answer that, uh, that Wonder Pitman is to give every time. Let's say, I'm having hundred dresses all lined up. It had age to it. So here also all the dresses are lined up and probably hundred dresses also. This must be the drawings for the contest. And yes, they, they thought that this is the contest that people, the, the students, the girl, they had drawn this because this is the topic for the girl, designing dresses. And they had uh, actually drawn this and that is why the drawings had been kept in that room. And they were, really they were. Everybody stopped and whistled or murmured admiringly. They were all whistling and, you know, accepting, admiring every dresses. As soon as the class had assembled, Miss Mason announced the winners. So whenever the class has gathered, all the students have come, Miss Mason announced the winners. Jack Beggles had won for the boys, she said, and his design for an outboard motor was on exhibition in room 12, along with the sketches by the other boys. So the Miss Mason had come to that room and Miss Mason announced that Jack Beggles had owned for the boys, very important, uh, MCQ may come, that name the boy who owned the competition for designing motorboat. He, here is the answer, Jack Beggles, Jack Beggles had owned for the boys because the boys' topic was designing motorboat, okay? And the, the, the picture uh, the, that he had drawn, it has kept in room number 12. Room number 12 is for the boys and room number 13 is for the girls. And not only that, as room number 13 is decorated with that designing dresses drawn by the girls, likewise room number 12 is also uh, decorated by the designing motorboats uh, done by uh, the boys, okay? That for the girls, he said, so winner for the boys, we come to know that this is Jack Beggles, Miss Mason announced it for the girls, for the boys, and for the girl, no, the, this is for the actually boy. For the boys, Jack Beggles is a winner. Now they they become the girls become very tense. Who is going to be wi winner for the girls? As for the girls, she said, although just one or two sketches were submitted by most, one girl and room 13 should be proud of her. This one girl actually drew 100 designs, all different and all beautiful. See, can you imagine? Now Miss Mason is telling that most of the girls, they submitted one or two designs, but only one girl was there who had submitted 100, 100 drawings of different designing, 100 drawings of dresses, and each design is different from the other. We can relate, we could relate, 
what was the answer used to give used to uh, what was the answer that what the petrolist used to give i have 100 dresses all these today here miss mason is telling that the girl though she did not take the name still but she is telling that room number 13 must be proud of such a girl who had submitted 100 drawings of dresses and the most important thing that each of the dress is different from other can you imagine that and, 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 and you know time was not given probably no extra time was given for design and all these hundred in the opening of the judges so in the opening of the judges any one of the drawing is worthy of uh, sorry in the opinion of the judges any one of the drawings is worthy of winning the prize the judges the judges told that any of the drawing would achieve the first prize for the girl but the girl had submitted 100 dresses 100 drawings see only one drawing would, would enough for achieving this winner for for achieving this you know title of winning this for the girls but the girl had submitted 100 drawings like this i am very happy to say that wanda petroski is the winner of the girls medal and ultimately, uh, Miss Mason answered that I am very happy to say Wanda Petrovsky is the winner. So Wanda Petrovsky is the girl who had drawn 100 different designs of trays and she had submitted. So in that page, in that, uh, in that uh, you know, in that page also, few drawings are there. Unfortunately, Wanda has been absent from school for some days and is not here to receive the applause that is due to her. This is applause. Everybody was applauding. Everybody was, you know, by clapping. I know. You may clap also when you are sitting at your home. You may also clap. Okay. So why if, you have, if your parents are asking them why you are clapping, they should explain why you are clapping. Because it's written in, uh, you know, big right of applause, you know. So, had it been in a classroom situation, then I, I feel that you people all would clap. Okay, whatever it is. So, uh, they, uh, you know, listening the name of Wanda Petrovsky, people had to, uh, clapping, you know, they were giving a, a round of applause, but Wanda Petrovsky was not there to receive this prize. Let us hope she will back tomorrow. And Miss Mason is telling that it's few days, for few days she had been absent, but let us hope that tomorrow she would come. Now, class, you may file around the room quietly and look at her exquisite uh, drawings. Exquisite means extremely beautiful and well made. So, uh, Miss Mason told that you may file around, means you may room around the room. Okay, you may move around the room to see that how exclusively she had drawn this. The children burst into applause, and even the boys were glad to have a chance to stamp on the floor, put their fingers in their mouth, and whistle, though they were not interested in dresses. See what is stated here. The boys also come from that room number 12, but they are not interested in the dresses. So why, uh, how they were interested? In which which topic? The boys were interested because they got the chance to come to the room for the girls. And that is, that makes them very happy. You know, sometimes it happens. You, you people do it better. So whenever boys students get the chance to go to the room for the girls, then uh, it always makes them interested. You know, just imagine how you have done in class 9. Okay. So here also, that boys also here, the children burst into applause and even the boys were glad to have a chance to stamp on the floor, to stamp on the floor, to come here, to trot on the floor, okay, put their fingers in their mouths and whistle, they are just giving whistle just like this, yes I know, you few people can, uh, yes, few people can do this, putting the fingers like this and put a whistle, yes, had it been a classroom situation and I could ask you. But still few people know how to give the whistle, isn't it? Okay, yeah, we are really missing, isn't it? We are re really missing the classroom situation. Yes, we are just uh, carrying out uh, our classes through online, but uh, I don't feel that that real classroom situation can really be replaced by this online. Because, uh, uh, you know, I should ask you who can whistle by these, and all these, all these. Okay, uh, we'll see it later. So the students were, the boys were whistling and they were not interested in dresses. The boys were glad because they got the chance to come to the girls' room. Okay. Look big, whispered Nadi. 
here's the blue one she told us about. Isn't it beautiful? Now, Mehdi actually had sold these to uh, uh, Peggy. See, see, it's the blue dream that uh, Wanda had told once. Yes, said Peggy, and here is the green one, boy. And I thought I could draw. And here is the green. So, Wanda Petrovsky had told about two dresses, the blue and green. And uh, Peggy and Mehdi was looking at these two dresses, very minutely. And uh, Peggy was telling that green boy, and I thought I could draw. Peggy was telling, yes, I could, I could draw like this. So that is the end of part one. I feel you have understood. Uh, few questions were there. The answer was very easy. Still, very quickly, why didn't Mehdi ask Peggy to stop teasing Wanda? What was he afraid of? I told, I discussed today's class. You can find the answer from there. Who did Mehdi think would win the drawing contest, and why? This also answer. You, you can get it. Who won the contest and who had the winner, what had the winner drawn this very simple question. So we had completed 100 dresses 1. In my next class, we will start 100 dresses 2. Till then, it's goodbye from my side.